when it comes to nursing injured native birds back to health. And now the Northland community is letting Robert Webb of the Whangarei Bird Recovery Centre know exactly how much he's appreciated. Here's Michael Holland. Another one? Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? The friendship's been real. He got very tame in the end. Oh, yeah. But it's time. Albert needs to stretch those wonderful wings. This snapshot moment from 18 years ago now being recreated to honour iconic Birdman of the North, Robert Webb. Huge challenge. You have no idea, really. I just couldn't imagine anything more majestic than a full-size albatross being released back into the wild. Robert is an absolute legend. He's really changed the way we feel about our native birds. It's very fitting that Robert is here to witness this. So many of these sort of bronzes are, you know, in memorial after the fact. Hello, little fluffy. Robert's work with sick and injured native birds in Northland... It's not my fault you got drunk, is it? ...spanning 35 years and including more than a share of dealings with this bloke. This is what you could call a pre-flight check. <laughs> but it is a, the most enjoyable part of any of the birds that we look after as the day comes when they can be released. amazing to see it up after all this time. A volunteer when you started and still a volunteer. Still a volunteer, yep. Never been paid. What does that tell you about yourself? You're either a very dedicated or very stupid one or the other. I haven't <laughs> quite figured out which one it is really. But what he has figured out this day at Tutakaka is all about a community's respect. No idea what it looks like at all. This is going to be quite an occasion. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. That's what it was like, guys. He was 10 kgs. I think this would be a bit heavier than that. But once the boat got up to speed, then all of a sudden his wings went, just went boom like that straight out. And then he started doing this sort of thing. And when he did that, you could feel that 10 kg weight just lifting off your hand. The sculpture, a collaboration of two talents, Susan Dinkelacker, a pilot on the Northland Rescue helicopter, crafting Albert, and Del Pryor, Robert. He's now 18 years older than he was when he released the bird. So I realised that I needed to basically remove some of the wrinkles. Yeah, I wish I could do plastic surgery on myself like that. <laughs> What's more exacting, sculpting or flying a rescue helicopter? <laughs> well, uh, each has its moments. Albert's liberation more unceremonious than intended, but Robert's adamant without harm, although not the case with him. It's all show, it's only scratches. The work also a tribute to Robert's wife, Robin, who shared his passion one bird at a time. It's possible Albert is out there somewhere? Oh. I wouldn't be surprised because they live for 60, 70 years. We might swoop in yeah. and take the weight off. He might come and land on it, eh? As long as he doesn't come and do a you-know-what on it. Yeah, well, he can do that if he wants to. <laughs> well, good on you, Robert. F.I.A. Coming up on 7...